Welcome to Burgas. Hello and welcome. This is Like a Local YouTube channel, and we're gonna visit some interesting place. But it wasn't be a typical uh, local tourist guide. It will be about meeting a local people who live on this place. You know, we're gonna check their point of view. So let's get started. So let's go and meet the local. Let's meet her. Hi, I'm Marina. Hey, Marina. How long have you been? living in Burgas? Uh, it's been more than six years now. I'm and here. why did you decide to stay here? Well, it's a long story, but um, basically originally I'm from Lithuania. Um, I moved here because of the amazing climate, amazing beach, and uh, recently I found a remote job. So the country and the city is really good for remote workers. Because okay, so where are we now? Uh, we are on the central beach in Burgas. Uh, the weather is crazy today. It's been more than 35 degrees, but as you can see, the beach is full. Um, so July and August is one of the busiest months uh, okay, so in Bulgaria. Let's go and find some interesting places. See you. Where are we now? Uh, so now we are on the bridge of Burgas. It's a very central location. It's like dividing two beaches. Um, and we have a beautiful sea garden here as well. Um, obviously lots of bars, um, restaurants to have a drink after the beach. Have How nice often do you came food. to this place? Uh, well, myself quite often because uh, it's a famous walk here. You can walk uh, all the way um, on the bridge and many local people are coming here um, especially on the sunset is nice it's not so hot so you can enjoy a nice walk <laughs> okay so let's talk about the local activities on this city uh, so now we are in the sea garden it's, uh, it's very big like you can walk for one hour across the city and it's very good way to hide uh, from the sun uh, lots of shade here Lots of activities uh, for kids and uh, all age people. Uh, some people like to have a picnic. Um, there are some nice restaurants here. Um, so, yep, yeah, and it's just next to the beach. You so, what is your job? What do you do uh, in Burgas? I work in call center for European Union. So, like customer support by emails and um, by phone, but with languages like English. Um, Russian, Lithuanian and Bulgarian. So who is your client? Uh, it's one of the clients who has a contract with European Commission. Ah, okay. I yes, guess. so the company is in Belgium, but we are allowed to work remotely. Which How is... about the food? What, what's your favorite food in Bulgaria? Um, well, in the summer, no, in general, I prefer seafood and in Burgas, uh, it's very popular. So like different type of fish, mm, mainly I would suggest order local fish, like for example, safrit, it's called, tsatsa, a small fried fish. It's very popular with the beer on the beach and uh, squid, mussels, I like. And people usually don't eat meat in the summer season because it's too hot. Mm -hmm. But in general, like salads, you definitely should try shopska salata. It's uh, cucumbers, tomatoes, and with the local cheese, so it's very nice. 
And basically, yeah. And that's what do you prefer to drink? Uh, wine <laughs> or beer, it depends. What kind of wine? <laughs> Um, Bulgaria is very famous with different wines, so in the summer mainly white wine, cold wine, it's very nice. <laughs>we are now at the main street uh, which is called Bogaridi street um, if you walk through all the street um, you will get to the main bridge of Burgas and from the bridge uh, you can take a nice walk to the sea garden um, Bogaridi street is very lively in the afternoons you can find uh, nice uh, restaurants um, there are a few nice bars as well and uh, you can try local cuisine um, main dishes are of course uh, seafood um, different salads as well there are some main dishes some meat dishes but they are not so popular in the summer and uh, one of the most popular restaurants called happy and definitely worth trying and there is a nice uh, bar next to that um, restaurant as well is there anything you don't like in burgas burgas is a great city but of course uh, as a resort it's very busy during the summer um it's very lively full of people full of tourists and locals um, and lots of activities to do in the summer but um the fact that I don't like that in winter it gets really quiet here and can be boring sometimes. So it's definitely, if you're planning to visit, it's better from, let's say, May till uh, October. If other people have more time than one, two days, which other places do they need to visit? If you have more than two days um, and you would like to see areas outside Burgas, I would definitely recommend you places like Sozopol and Nesebar. Uh, this is uh, two old towns uh, which are located within half an hour drive or you can take easily a bus from main bus station in Burgas and get there. Um, and uh, you can spend one day there or even um, stay for longer um, because these resorts are even more lively than Burgas. Uh, you can also meet local people there, not only foreigners. And um, these towns are very cute. They have unique architecture. Neseber is, um, is in UNESCO as well. like to advise to everyone um, guys don't stop traveling uh, and especially um, traveling like a local trying to meet local people not just staying in one hotel you know all inclusive um, try um, to explore local places um, not always the best places which are on google maps for example sometimes small places can be even um, better than all these big chains uh, restaurants um, so even like a short weekend trips um, because it will not only make you happy make you relaxed but after 
every trip you will come back like um, like a little bit different person with um, charged uh, with the new ideas uh, for your life and you will even succeed better in your work and your career and your relationship because traveling is making us rich